Hello there, my beautiful Sagittarius, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Sagittarius, we're looking into this week of August 2nd to August 8th. Please keep in mind that time is fluid and check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs out on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. And if you are returning, Sag, welcome back. And thank you so very much for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of my beautiful Sagittarius out there. Please do not forget to like the video. It really helps my channel grow. So let's get started and let's get into it. We're getting you a number for this week. We are seeing what number is being highlighted for you. You may see this number on license plates, billboards, phone numbers, wherever you see digits. So here we go, Sag. Let's see what's coming through for you. Ooh, Sagittarius triple zeros. This is a good card. I am a creator. You are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. Ooh, Sagittarius, you better get to manifesting right this moment. Right this moment. Ooh, triple zeros. That card has not came out, I don't think, for anyone. I think Pisces has got double zeros um, for last week. But that's the only time I can really remember zeros coming out. Um, ooh, you are a creator. So you are definitely sitting in a godly um, sort of position this week where anything you touch turns to gold. Anything you want happens at an incredible speed for you. So remember to manifest the positive. Um, don't sit in the negative aspects of things. So Sag, let's see what your Moonology card says. We do have a new moon in Leo on the 8-8 peak of the Lion's Gate portal. So pretty magical energy this week. So Sagittarius, we have a fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. All right, Sag, you're about to get a lot of good energy. I feel like for a lot of you Sagittarius, if things have been very tense in your life, if there's been a lot of arguments, if there has been a lot of conflict and challenge, that is definitely all subsiding. The energy is climaxing and dripping, dripping, dropping down. So things can become easier, lighter, and freer. Full moon in Aries, you could be dealing with an Aries or somebody with Aries in their chart. But nonetheless, you're feeling excited, you're feeling creative, and you're honestly in a position of making things happen for yourself. So what do you want to happen for yourself? What do you want to manifest? What do you want to create for yourself? Because this week, you're sitting in the triple zero energy. So a lot of things you say are going to come into fruition quickly. So let's get your unicorn. And that's why I feel like you had the full moon in Aries. Your manifestations are happening at lightning speed here, Sag. So let's see your unicorn. And we have divine sight. See the divine in everyone. Yeah. I definitely feel like for some of you, you were having conflict with people. Or there's just people that were very bothersome or frustrating to you. That is all ending. That is all coming to an end. You are, you know, you're coming to a realization that, you know what, your issues, your problems, not yours, other people's, um, like talking to other people, and those are their issues. Don't make them your issues. If they have an issue with you, that's your issue with me. It's still not my issue. You know what I mean? So I feel like for a lot of you Sagittarius, you're trying to see the good in everyone. I feel like you're trying to see the good in even the people that don't deserve it. And when you do that, you sit in triple zero energy because you are not using your ego to rule. You're not using your frustrations or the things that didn't go for you to get you down. You're saying, you know what? That's just you and I'm me. So yeah. So let me get you another unicorn here, Sag. You know, when you do things like this, you do create magic for yourself because you're not sitting there and you're not um, putting negative energy out there. You're not saying, you, 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 you did me wrong. You did me like this. You did me like that. You're like, you know what? Whatever. 
you have some good aspects, you have some not so good aspects. We all do. And I'm just going to try to see the good because if I do look at the bad, it's just going to take this whole thing down. So let's see. We have soul satisfaction. Aim for which you makes your soul rejoice. Card 34. We also had card 7 here. Some of you may have been born on the 7th. And we also have help. The help you need is on its way, so keep watching for it. Card number 12. Yeah, there's something that's coming in for you this week, and I feel like you're getting help from the divine, and they're really helping you see your life from a new set of eyes. They're really helping you say, you know what, Sagittarius, what makes you happy? Seeing the bad in all these people, it just makes you feel frustrated. It just makes you feel bothered. Focus on what makes you feel good. And that's what you're doing this week. And I feel like you're getting a helping hand. So let's see what your astrology is for my beautiful Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. And I almost feel like for some of you Sagittarius, you may be so unbothered this week that it does bother someone else. Uh, I know, I know that sounds weird, but, you know, sometimes people like to phase other people. Sometimes people like to get a reaction out of other people. And I feel like whoever's trying to get a reaction out of you or maybe whoever's been frustrating you, whether on purpose or not on purpose, you're not really reacting. And I almost feel like it, if they do want a reaction, it's bothering them. Um, and there may be a helping hand where somebody steps in and they're like, Look, stop bothering Sagittarius. They're doing fine. This may be through work. This could be at home. Whatever the case may be. But you're like unfazed. But it's almost like people are un people are phased by the fact that you're not bothered. Hmm. Underneath your triple zero, we have Scorpio energy. Mysterious, transformative, and lustful. Yeah, people are trying to read you, Sagittarius, and they can't. And it's bothering them. Underneath full moon and Aries, we have air, thoughts, communication, futuristic. Yeah, people trying to read your mind. People wanting to know what you think about certain things. What do you think about this person doing this? What do you think about this person doing that? You're just like, I don't even care, honestly. I know what I am. I have no limits to what I can achieve. I know my ability. I know that I am going to make something incredible happen for me. I don't really care what you do. So, wow, I love this. Underneath your... Angel, you have first house, outlook, image, self, physical, body. Yeah, you have a different outlook than other people, and I almost feel like it, bo it bothers someone. I don't know who is bothering, but I really do feel like there has been certain people that have wanted to phase you recently, and you were unfazed. It's not working out in their favor. I do feel like for some of you, this person may try to say something to you here um, and get to get to see how you view something. Somebody wants your opinion on either drama that happened or somebody wants your opinion about something and you're kind of like, why do I even have to have an opinion on it? You know, like if I add my opinion and then you go and change up my words, now I created more drama. Like I don't even care to give you my opinion. I don't, I don't want to be part of this. So you're definitely avoiding um, dramatic people or you're avoiding challenge and you're avoiding um, an energy of conflict and I don't feel like people are happy with the fact that you're not feeling frustrated with what they're frustrated with so I don't know this could be work this could be family this could be friends this could be love this really could be anything I'm not feeling exactly what it is I feel like this could be in any aspect. So you think about a Sagittarius. Are you connecting to a lover who likes to push your buttons? Do you not react? It may frustrate the crap out of them. Um, some of you, you could be dealing with somebody who like wants reactions from, from you. I don't know. There's something weird here. Let's clarify with the tarot. I do feel a need to tell some of you Sagittarius that I feel like some of you don't like the way you see yourself or you don't like the way you view yourself like outwardly like your outward appearance and I feel like you're a lot more attractive than you think you are I do feel that on Scorpio we have the eight of cups yeah you just don't care <laughs> you just don't care and the fact that you don't care it's like so bothersome to people 
um, on this air energy. We have the two of, two of wands. Yeah, you really don't care. You're like, I'm choosing to look ahead. I'm not paying attention to the crap you guys are paying attention to. Y'all can try to talk to me about it or you can try to push my buttons, but it's only going to keep frustrating them because you're not doing anything. And first house, queen of pentacles. Yeah, you're comfortable. You're focused. You're, you got your eyes on the prize. You're not anybody, you're not letting anybody knock you off your game here. And for a lot of you, I feel like you're becoming more comfortable in your own skin. And let's clarify this one more time. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, Spirit, please clarify this one more time here. On the Eight of Cups, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you're only focused on what needs your focus. You're not letting people distract you. You are focused on the abundance. You're focused on things that are stable for you. Two of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Some of you actually are so bothered at work with whoever, whatever, whatever's happening here. You may actually decide to leave this job for some of you. Spirit wants you to know you will find another comfortable job. Help will come in. Watch for it. So if you are in a position of transforming and letting go of a job, whether because of conflict, because of drama, because people push your buttons, or maybe the workload, you will find something better. You will. You will find something that is more in position of what you really want. Queen of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Look at you. Two of Wands to the Three of Wands. You really don't care. <laughs> you're just like I know there's better for me out there like for a lot of you Sagittarius you feel like a um a push towards something but you don't know what it is you just know where you're at is not really where you feel fulfilled or you're just not like feeling it any longer I really feel like this is work so if you do decide to change job spirit is saying things will go nicely for you help will be here for you Oh, that's why you have soul satisfaction. Aim for which makes your soul rejoice. So what's going to make you happy, Sagittarius? What's going to be something that you're going to do that makes you feel excited to go to work, excited to help people, excited to do this, excited to do that, excited to be in your relationship, excited to see your friends? What's going to make you feel excited with that? You need to go for what you want. So let's clarify this one more time. I really feel like it's in terms of work. And I feel the need to tell my Sages, if you are in a position of wanting to leave your current job, things will go okay. Um, I do get a sense that you're going to think about it for a bit. When you think about it, talk to people. Talk to your trusted people. Talk to your friends, people you trust. And they will help you um, figure things out. You do have a helping hand coming though. So let's clarify this one more time. On the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Cups. I told you, you're going to find something a lot more fulfilling to you and actually something that brings you in a lot more money. Seven of Pentacles with the Emperor. Possibly some of you want to have your own business or be your own boss. Um, for others of you, you may actually find this new job and you're set at a very high position right away. And Three of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles. There's your new job. There's your new money. So for some of you, you're very, 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 very frustrated and very just done with your current workplace scenario. Um, done with your job. Maybe you want more money and you're going to speak out and say that. For others of you, you're definitely moving away from it. More money is obtainable and you will be comfortable. This is beautiful. I really like this for my Sagittarius that really have been wanting more stability, more security. If this is in terms of love, I definitely do feel like, um, you know, I, I don't even feel like it is. So sorry. I'm not going to like just make up stories. I feel like this is work. I do. This could be family, but I feel like it's more towards work. You know you're made for more, and it's like you either feel like there isn't anywhere for you to grow at your workplace scenario, or you just want a different job, and you will find it. You will get it. You have an extreme sense of abundance coming your way. Look at this. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. This is an extreme sense of abundance and wish fulfillment. For my Sagittarius who are thinking about it, 
change that job, ask for that raise. That's what I got to tell you. So thank you, Sag, for being here and for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.